Hello and welcome to my easy to understand guide to the Fortnite website with a focus on industry and audience. This video is going to be particularly relevant for you if you are studying the EDUCAS GCSE Media Studies specification as it currently appears as a set text on that exam board. If you're studying Fortnite, you're going to need to look at the home page and at least a few other pages. I'm going to discuss the whole of the website pretty much, but your school might look at particular pages. The website itself is very visual, very simple and very easy to use. This makes it great for young users. A lot of the people playing Fortnite are quite young. There's lots of bright colours, lots of cartoon graphics and not a lot of writing. They have very clear links to direct you to play now. So it's very clear how you can play the game. And there's clearly a wide variety of ways to play that they can direct you to, which makes it quite accessible for audiences, depending on what technology they own. There's also a wide variety of games or types of game that you can click on. So, for example, different islands, battle royale um, with step by step instructions about how to play them. The PEGI ratings for the game are clearly displayed online and this helps perhaps audiences, whether it's children, young people or their parents, understand what might or might not be appropriate. And this is an example of the company Epic Games trying to make the games feel more family friendly for their players. The fact that all of these games, no matter what their age rating, are available to download or stream directly from their website does raise some questions about how technology has actually made regulation a lot harder because no one is checking the ages of the people who are playing these games. At any point in time, you can see how many people are playing each game or are on each island, for example. It makes you feel like you're missing out if you're not part of it. A bit of FOMO, maybe. And it also makes it feel like if you choose to join in, you're part of that community that are playing. There's more parts of the website that target that fear of missing out and the peer pressure appeal of the game. So, for example, they have fan favourites, trending and favourited. So you can see what other people like and what other people are enjoying. And perhaps that might influence some players um, about which part of the game or what um, island, etc. Et that they are going to choose to play. The news section of the website doesn't have a lot of text on there. It's lots of big images, but it does promote things like when the updates are going to happen. There's currently a make your own game section on the website as well, which appeals to those active audiences who want to produce some of their own content. And it adds that element of interactivity for those people who want to be prosumers. They also have access to the Unreal Editor on there for players. Um, and these kind of new digital convergent technologies are allowing more and more people to get involved in video game design themselves. These sections are a bit more complicated with a bit more jargon. And that suggests that the people who design their own games, perhaps a bit older, a bit more educated than the people who simply play. There are links to even more complicated game design softwares and pages as well. So for example, Twin Motion, um, reality scan, meta human. So these are targeting more advanced audiences, people who've maybe done a lot more coding or video game design in the past. So there's different parts of the website targeted at the more casual gamers or the younger, more experienced gamers, and then the more advanced gamers. You also have the option to publish your own games to the Epic online store, um, which is a, an amazing opportunity for a lot of audiences. They would love to see their games featured. Um, and so it, again, it makes you feel more involved. Epic Games actually take a cut of any of the earnings that people make when they upload or publish their own games via the Epic Store. So this is another way of Epic Games making more revenue. There's a big banner on the website promoting the Battle Pass, um, saying sort of available now. So really drumming that home to players that they can pay for that. Promoting that paid for content is a good way of Epic Games making more money. The Battle Pass page itself shows you what you can unlock if you pay for the pass. So kind of teasing audiences and making it clear that they will have perks if they pay for the pass. They also offer you incentives. So, for example, in-game currency. When I looked, they were offering 1500 V-Bucks if you bought the Battle Pass. And that will encourage a lot of players to buy the pass. Epic Games also offer incentives periodically for any player who refers a friend and if that friend starts playing Fortnite and they can play together to earn rewards. So um, incentivizing players to increase the general audience for Epic Games. 
social media icons are dotted around the website on various pages as well. And that's targeting those people who enjoy sharing content online. The site also features links to Epic Games' other games, for example, Rocket League. So cross-promoting their other products, perhaps if you enjoy Fortnite, you might also enjoy Rocket League. There are some celebrity collaborations featured on the website. When I looked, for example, there was an exclusive Billie Eilish song. Uh, there was a preview, etc. So some of these celebrity collaborations might help to draw in audiences on their website. And there's a lot of synergetic partnerships as well. So, for example, there's Fortnite and Star Wars, Fortnite and Lego, Fortnite and Coachella. And I'm sure you'll find other partnerships as well when you look. But lots of these partnerships are designed to bring in more revenue for Epic Games and also to broaden the fan base. So, for example, people who might not really have played Fortnite before but are Star Wars fans might choose to play it because of that partnership. The choice of these partnerships as well, for example, Star Wars and Lego, are very big, family-friendly, mainstream brands, so bringing in similar audiences. There was also an opportunity to purchase the Fortnite Crew subscription, which at the time I looked was £10 a month. And that also offered a lot of perks, which makes it feel quite exclusive for fans. There was a page about cups and competitions you can take part in, which would appeal to those audiences liking a little bit of competition. The fact that there are real cash prizes available to players around the world for taking part and winning in these competitions would really appeal to people wanting to earn that money. There was also a ranked page as well with a leaderboard and that's global and it makes it feel quite exciting for audiences that they can compete against these players and that I suppose it gives them the hopes or aspirations that their name might one day appear in that leaderboard. On the site you can actually change the language uh, to a variety of different other languages which means the website is quite accessible for a big global audience. There is a sign in page as well, so you can actually sign in to your Fortnite account. You can see how many V-Bucks you have. You can buy more V-Bucks and it allows you access to a variety of other features, seeing your things like your friends list, etc. So being able to do that makes it feel quite inclusive. Um, and it also, I guess, allows a certain amount of control maybe by parents. This sign into your account page allows you to do things like block other players or invite other players. And that's quite good both for players and potentially if the players are very young also allows their parents to have some kind of control as well so that was my easy to understand guide to the Fortnite website don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos that might be relevant for you and if you would like a video that i don't already have leave a little comment below and i'll see what i can do i can do